you guys. So as you have seen, I have prepared for you some videos on dark, dramatic makeup and contrary to those, uh, this one is very, very soft and natural as I have already said and I have chosen just um, light colors, uh, nude colors, neutral colors and they are really great for all the seasons uh, for day makeup and you can use them whatever, whenever you want so watch and if you like it um, use it for yourself and I will show I will write all the shades and all the products in the subtitles of the video and so if you have any questions just send me a message and I will help you So guys, um, I have started my makeup with the uh, eye primer all over the upper lid and now I will use two light shades for my graph topping concealer. I will mix them and apply in the outer corner of my eye. So to cover all the imperfections and yet to cover this part of the eye so that my eye which outer corner is dropping down doesn't look sad so sad as it is without the concealer so you can apply it with your fingers or with concealer brush or with the foundation brushes I'm doing right now and you can fix it with your finger so for this makeup I will use three different shades of eyeshadows and three different brushes so the brush that I will apply my neutral shades with um, blending brush and small smudge brush after the eye primer is dry you can apply the lightest shade with big brush um, my lightest shade will be Sugar Pink by Radiant. I will apply it all over my upper eyelid. And as I have already said, you can fix your concealer with the same shade. So with the rest of what you have on your brush, you are covering your under brow zone, under brow zone and going down to fix the concealer. Now take a brush that is smaller by size. I will apply my MAC eyeshadow in Kid. So I will grab some color always check it on your hand so that you don't have too much and apply this color first in the outer corner like this and after that with little strokes you're gonna pull the color along the crease and upwards apply the color gradually so don't apply too much at first very slightly go in the inner corner Blend the color upwards with the same small strokes. And while you apply it, always blend the outer edges with the same big brush that has that still has the lightest shade on it. So you blend the color and you add the color. You add it and you blend the edges very slightly just the outer edges
next color that I will use will be by Inglot. It is dark brown and you will need a small smudge brush like this so that will go very easy in your crease and will define it. Pick up some color, take off the excess, check the color on your hand so that you don't have too much and you need just for the right amount of the eyeshadow and you're gonna start from the inner corner so don't don't keep the brush like this because in this way the color will go on your upper lid and in this technique you wanna fullen your eyes you wanna make them bigger so you don't need um, dark color on the upper lid so you're gonna start keeping the brush like this and you go along the natural crease of your eye And if your eye is going down in the outer corner, so you start, you you're gonna stop on the highest point of your eye. So like this, here is the highest point. Pick up some more color, and then you're gonna start from the outer corner. So first of all, you wanna define where the line will go so like this as I have shown in my eyeliner tutorial you're gonna first define uh, the line that will correct the eye the form of your eye so my line will be here so I'm continuing the line from my lower lash line upwards so I have defined the line for my eyeshadows and I apply the dark shade with small slight strokes as usual you wanna add the color blend it a little bit with the same brush and then you are going along the lash along your crease and meet those lines together so the line from the outer corner and the line that you have applied before like this with back and forth motions you meet these lines together So you have apply, you have defined the shape of your eye. Now blend the edges. You can blend them with the big brush, or you can blend them with the brush that is smaller by size that you have a Mac kit on it. Just blend the outer edges. And what you're gonna do next? So the next thing you will still use your small smudge brush and the dark brown eyeshadow.